Why Iverson's gonna go ahead and take this first fight. Very, very quick dive there coming in. Uh, you know, they saw that Stormmakers was bunching up in the house there, and they just went in, dove on them. They knew the Widow wasn't around there. They knew they were lacking some DPS uh, when they were inside that house. So they just went ahead, dove in on them, and uh, got the kills. That was a very quick first fight there by White Iversons. Yeah, it looks like they're, they are holding a lot better here this time. And they are going to be able to take this first fight. They have lost a couple of key members, but uh, depending on how this goes, they should be able to come back fairly quickly. It was a Winston. You know, he can jump back much, much easier. Oh no, that's a huge pickoff though. Hakame headshotting the Genji. That could have been an opening, but thankfully Stormmakers do have the Mei to help stall out just a little bit, little bit longer. Maybe buying time for that Genji to come back. If she can build that Blizzard, that would be a huge, huge help in contesting the point here. We are in overtime, so even if... Even if White Iversons take it here, they will only have 30 seconds left, even if they take it. But we don't even know if they're going to be able to do that, because Alex going in with a Dragon Blade gets two kills right off the bat, following it, followed up by a third, fourth, and a fifth by their tanks. Oh my goodness, and that should be a nice hold fight by Stormmakers. They didn't even let White Iversons get a single tick on the point. That means all they will have to do now, they have th over three minutes left for just to take one tick. Of the first point of Hanamura. If they can get one tick, they will take this map and tie the series up one to one. Let's see what they can do. Armadillo there getting off, getting a nice first pick off on the Mercy. Very, very impressive there by the Genji. Pharmacy, not easy to, for a Genji to get up to, but you know, Armadillo making good use of Genji's dash there, getting in on the Mercy and getting in on the Fara. What is this? Genji anti air? What's going on over here? This is crazy. Why Iverson's absolutely taking control right now. Going nuts on the point. They're going to have a very early advantage going into this second point. It's looking rough for Stormmakers right now. They do go ahead and pop Dragon Blade. See if they they are able to get one kill off the back of it. Not too much value, but Oh, the deflect coming through Armadil coming up clutch, coming up huge for his team there. 4K by Armadil, and that's just going to cause an instant reset. And Skelly again, three. Oh my goodness, two boops. I I should have I should have said two. Counted the diva mech there as as one, but uh, wow, Skelly just coming in huge. Look at that. Again, I I just I have to say it again. The supports for Storm Wakers have just been coming through in the clutch every single time. I've seen them so many times in the kill feed, getting getting the boops, getting the Zenyatta kills, getting, you know, Discord orbs. It's been it's been a really great day for the supports of Storm Makers. You know, we'll see. EMP coming in. Doesn't look like it found too many people here. Gonna go ahead and pop the attack visor. And Armadil popping the attack visor. Doesn't really matter if he's on the Genji or if he's on the Soldier. He's gonna get work done. You know he's gonna get work done. He's been a great player to watch. All day long, and yeah, they're gonna they're gonna clean this up. Looks like. Oh my goodness, no, but Zerocious with the triple kill! Oh my goodness, what a pulse bomb! Coming in with, with the transcendence, though. White Iverson's trying to defend this. They know they can't give up a single more percentage point here. They know they can't ha let the point flip over. So they're gonna go ahead and invest everything they have into this, uh, using all six ultimates. Getting really only one kill. Okay, there's there's two coming through. There's some there's some kills coming through now. But they they used everything they had to to try and you know stall that out, try and win that fight. And now Stormbreakers, they're gonna have a nice nice ult advantage coming into this next fight here. They do they don't have a whole lot of time left. They only really have this one good fight that they can use. But uh, they they have three about to have four ultimates here. And Zerocious with the great pickoff again! How many entry frags is this Widow gonna get? Guys, you can't poke down a Widow like this! Now Stormmakers are in a desperate position. If they don't take this point, White Iversons is going to take this set and the series and the tournament 3-0. Great job. What do you think about Winston? Do you think Winston has become better within the game now that we have uh, new tanks coming in? Oh, there's no question about it, man. I mean, you know, Winston, uh, you know, in, in this, at least this season, has just been a monster all, all the way around, you know. Uh, 
with dive being such a such a meta thing right now, Winston just being able to pop down that barrier, being able to pop it down also much more frequently uh, frequently than he used to be able to. You know, just yes, uh, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's right now it's a Winston Diva meta, and we're just yes. all living in it. Yes, you know. It is. Yep. And I know some people don't like that, but you know, do you, you remember? At a, there was a point at which Winston was just never Winston played. Was never played. Yeah, may, totally you agree. maybe saw him on some control maps, and you know, if some if some team wanted to try and run a dive comp, but pretty much everybody played Reinhardt. So you know, I think uh, right right now, it's, let's let's have the coming from a Reinhardt main and transitioning to Winston main. I definitely see that. Winston has become a meta in just like the overall game in general. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So, yeah, it looks like uh, you know, White Iverson's here on on a rampage actually right now. Uh, all the way, already up to 75% on the point here. Looking looking to close this out. They don't want to let Stormmakers even get one game in this grand finals. They want to take this tournament 3-0. They are about to. They are about to. Make this reverse sweep on reverse, on, it. reverse sweep <laughs> on Li Zhang Tower happen. They were down 2-0 on Li Zhang, and they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we're not even gonna lose one map. No. We're just gonna take this right here, right now. Right here, right now. Why would we even let you have one map? Stormmakers though, not having any of that. Slurpy Thief coming in with the Winston, gets the double kill, brings the point nice. back for them, and you know, Stormmakers are able to flip the point over, but why Iversons have 96%. 96%. Yes. So, close, so close, they only have to really win one fight cleanly, and they'll be able to take this Grand Finals 3-0. We got, we got one Winston ult on the Stormmaker side, which is actually kind of good for them right now because they'll, they'll be able to use that to stall out a little bit. But why Iverson's about, they're, they have Tracer, they you know they have, they got Pulse Bomb, they got Dragon Blade, which they're about to pop right now. Nice, uh, oh my goodness, but he doesn't, he's, he's not, not able to find anything. Oh, but the Deflect's Great coming in! Oh. He, okay, okay. Yeah, he, he did he did manage to get one kill off the back of it, but that's not something you want to see out of Genji ult. You want to see, you want to see a nice 2, 3, 4k off of Genji ult, and they just weren't quite able to get that. So... They are going to come in with the TIE Visor. They blow TIE Visor. They blow Tracer ult. They blow They blow uh, all of their ults and didn't... Yeah, they, they blew everything and didn't quite get it. And now Alex coming in and showing how a Dragon Blade is supposed to be used. Get that Gets that double K very, very easily. Nice and clean. And yeah, they uh, Stormmakers are going to be able to hold it. Armadil coming up with a double kill. Tr looking for a third. Looking for the Zen. Doesn't quite... Has to recall out. Oh! Ooh. The trade! The trade that's on the so Zen. But they... You know, <laughs> that's actually good for White Iversons right now. Because they're going to pop the TIE Visor and they're going to take everything here. Yeah, that's just gonna be a nice, nice cleanup for them. See if anybody on the side of Stormmakers can get back here in time to, to contest. Looks like they are gonna be able to get back through with the D.Va coming in over the top, but then she's gonna get taken out of a mech immediately. Not able to get anything, and that's gonna be a nice, nice cleanup. That, that should be everything. Oh, but the Winston manages to get through the window. See if anything comes out of here. Uh, does get hacked right away. Skelly gets a boot, but I don't think that. Yeah, I think I don't think anybody's gonna be able to come back in at this point. Yeah, I think I think that's over. I think White Iverson. Yeah, White Iverson's gonna go ahead and clean up, clean this all up. Gonna go ahead and take the turn with a reverse sweep on Li Zhang Tower, taking the tournament 3-0, making a statement here. White Iversons are your Grand Finals Overwatch Tournament winner here at the EFK GG Lounge. 163 West Santa Clara Street, San Jose, California, 95113. Come check it out. Absolutely, guys. You, you got to come check this place out. They, you know, they, they got a nice little bar and restaurant upstairs. They got the, a beautiful basement down here with lots of PCs and games and everything set up here. It's, it's absolutely lovely. So you guys got to come check it out, man.